All right, so in this, what I'm going to show you is the ability to mirror an object. Okay, in this case, I have to talk about negative and positive space again. So what happens is when I mirror cut something, it's going to change from the positive. So this is the positive up above, and it's going to mirror it to the negative. Okay? And I will warn you that this command is a little bit buggy sometimes. Okay, first off, let's grab it in object mode. Then go mesh, mirror cut, square box. Okay, in this case, what I want is the X and the Z. Okay, that's, that's if I stuck a plane right down the center of this, that's where I want it cut. X and Z. I know that because of the blue and the red. Okay, cross your fingers. And if it done correctly, you should have something that looks like this. But we're going to have to adjust it a little bit. So turn on wireframe unshaded. You see how it inserted a bunch of edge loops here, okay? I still have the ability to move it also. So what I want to do is move it just enough up so those edge loops disappear, leaving this nice change. It's also very important to know that you must duplicate the part, Command D, after you're done, and destroy the original part. because it has that cut node on it and what happens is it's really it's so much it's so easier just to delete it than it is to try to get rid of it so when I hit 3 check this out isn't that nice okay so I have just about all my parts So what I'm on the subject of mirroring, that was called the mirror cut command. The other one I'm showing you is the ability to uh, mirror it across the other axes. So what I could do here is take all three of these parts and combine them. Combining them is turning them into one mesh. Okay. If they're one mesh, I can do a lot of stuff with them. In this case, I have to make sure that this center, so if I grab this wing, and let's say I center pivot. Center pivot moves this over to the center of the object. Well, D on the keyboard allows me to move the pivot point this way. V allows me to snap it in the middle of my jet. Okay, now the natural center for this wing is right here, its pivot point. That means I can go edit, duplicate special, square box. And here's my positive x. This is x, y, z. So if I duplicate this with a negative 1, it does that. Very cool, huh? And now if I take this object and highlight it in object mode, this is positive Y up. So in this case, I'm going to take this, put a negative in it, and apply it. In this case, I get the bottom source of the wings. I didn't manually move the pivot point this time, so I'm just going to move this up. There we go. 
I can turn off face normal so you can see that face normals is kind of slagging my system. <laughs> Slowly lagging. Uh, display. Face centers. Alright, there's our X-Wing. Now, in the next video, I just want to show you a couple more things that you can do to your model to make it nice. Um, keep in mind, all the rest of the detail comes with the textures. So you don't want to overdo too much on the polygons. Um, you certainly will have opportunities to come back to the X-Wing and really kind of uh, add to it. So if I show you texture workflows later on, you're going to be able to go in here and say, oh, okay, now I can add a texture here and here and unfold the two Vs. Those are later lessons. So let's go into the next video where I can kind of add a little bit more detail and maybe this back area or here.